What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. As you guys seen in our last video, we were going through a lot, which is why we weren't really posting. And I wasn't really feeling up to it just because how I'm in my first trimester of being pregnant. I'm super nauseous with this baby. Yeah. Like, it's really bad. Like, with Andrea, I did not have any nausea whatsoever. And like, with this baby, I keep throwing up. I can't even keep food down, like, to the point where my doctor had to prescribe me medication. Even any little simple car ride, I have to throw up. I was throwing up every day and like it was just really horrible because no one likes throwing up. Of course not. Which is like another reason why I didn't want to do videos because like whenever I would feel nauseous, I would just go lay down in the bed. Not only were we going through a lot, but me being sick, I just decided not to film. But I'm really excited because right now I'm actually going to see the baby for the first time. The first ultrasound as you guys see in the thumbnail. Yeah, for the very first time and like I know that I'm pregnant and I'm always saying that I'm pregnant but like it doesn't feel yeah, it doesn't like feel, I am. Yeah, it doesn't feel real to us yet and like you, she might be showing like a little bit. Not even. Yeah, like a I'm little bit maybe. It. Or is that, all, is that all still food right there? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Yeah, like today we're gonna see the baby for the first time. I'm really excited just because I haven't seen the baby at all. And you know, today is the first time we're gonna see the little baby. Us and you guys. And little Andrea is gonna see her little brother or sister. Good job. But right now she's being kind of cranky. Yeah, she's a little cranky. She might. She wants to take a nap. Yeah, she's gonna need to take a nap right now. Anyways, we'll see you guys over there at the ultrasound. Hopefully, they let us record. We're gonna ask. If not, then we're sorry, and we'll just end up showing you guys the little picture that we get. Yeah, we'll do our best though. We'll see you there. Mama, where's Dada? Where's Dada? He's over here? What is he doing over here, huh? Dada? What are you doing? Uh, I'm making a smoothie, like I said. Lasagna? You made it? Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm making a lasagna. Uh -huh. Oh, it's hella hot. Is it okay like that? Yeah. He's making it, guys, out of the box. What are you talking about out the box? Like, it's a little bit of work. I have to uh -huh. peel. I have to peel the plastic two corners so I can vent. The point is, guys, my cooking is A1 and she's just hating on me just because she can't do the same thing. Okay, I always make it for <laughs> us. This one time, and get the creche. Andrea, what are you doing down there? <sighs> are you gonna muffle the <laughs> home from the doctors it was a very long doctor's appointment i believe we were in the waiting room for, for like an hour, an hour exactly. waiting and it was horrible the baby actually ended up like finding a little friend there and playing with them i know and he kept wanting to walk out the door and andrea did also and it was like so complicated trying to like get her to not want to leave and without throwing like a little fit yeah because now when she walks uh all she wants to do is walk on the ground and when we pick her up she just fusses she makes herself stiff she starts to swarm around so she can fall i mean if you're a parent you already know how it goes and not only that too when she was walking out the door there was another little girl from a different family that was coming through 
grew. She was bigger, maybe I want to say like three years old, and Jerry's like not even two years old yet. I know. And when she was, yeah, when she was stepping out there, I didn't get to see, but Vanessa told me just recently that I guess she tried to push her or something, but I didn't really see how it went down. Yeah, but anyways, we finally got to see the baby for the very first time. It was still very tiny. Yeah. But now I feel like it actually hit me that I have a little baby in there. It's so crazy to me though because the baby is so small, but yet like the arms are there, the feet, the nose, the head. I was like, what the hell? Like, I know, the lady like zoomed in yeah. to the baby's face and I could barely see the nose. It looked like a little tiny ball. <laughs> a little speck. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a little ball and I was like, oh my God. But yeah, you can actually see like the little arms already developed since it is still very early on. Like we can't really see everything yet. Yeah. So the lady told us that the next time we go, we'll actually be able to see the baby more fully developed. Yeah, ah. and possibly even the gender. <laughs> Hey! Hey, she's trying to pull my shirt. Hey. Are you trying to get in the camera? Are you trying to get in the camera? Yeah, stop talking about my breath. Do you want to tell them how bad you were being? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell them how bad you were being? But, um, like I was saying, the doctor said that the next time we go, we'll actually be able to see the gender of the baby and we'll actually be able to see all the little toes and fingers because the baby will actually be fully developed with yeah. like more, um, of like, I don't know, more I guess features. she was saying, yeah, more of their features that we'd be able to see. Yeah, but this it, time, what do you want? What do you want? There's nothing up there for you. All right, sorry about that, guys. We'll be right back. We gotta get the baby some fruit. <laughs> All right, so now we got the baby, her little watermelon, and now she's huh? calm. The big one. The uh, bigger no. one? No, 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 no. You need a this baby one. one. Yeah, look, a little baby one right here. A yeah. baby one like you. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. It's good. You like it? She didn't even care about us no more. It's like when she has her food, you she like doesn't even it? care about us. It's good? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> hey, you you get another one when you finish that one. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the doctor says that for my next appointment when I'm 20 weeks, um, we'll actually be able to see the baby more and find out the gender, which I'm really excited because we get to find out whether it's going to be a boy or a girl. And I know me and I'm pretty sure George also, we really want a girl just because we have a name picked out already that's really beautiful. A beautiful name. Like every time that I just want to like tell my mom or like one of my sisters or one of her sisters, I don't want to over exaggerate it, but I do. I overhype it. It's like I build to it and like I don't want to give away any hints but this name is probably a name that you probably have never heard on someone before at least I haven't yeah well I mean you have but the way that we're gonna name it name it like him or or well, name it has to be a her. Yeah. It has to be a her. Like the point is, like the name is a common name, but the like I can't really tell you guys, and then I'll give it away. Yeah, so you guys are just gonna have to yeah, wait. Yeah, you're just gonna have to wait, but to it's... see if it is a baby girl, which we really hope it is. But if it's just not, just the name. But of course, we would still love to have a boy. Yeah, but if it's not, then it's okay. But I really hope for a girl, just because um, we do already have a lot of Andrea's clothes here at the house. Like we never got rid of them. Andrea has her own little playroom, and you know, my plans for it is I want to make it really girly and make it more like for her so if it's like if i have a boy i don't really know how like i can incorporate boy and girl well like i don't know if I incorporate the whole room or maybe make it like half yeah like, like down i the feel middle, like i would like, have to do and, like, like half and half yeah exactly like a certain point in the wall like just boy stuff yeah, but I don't really want that, you know? So I really hope it's a girl just so Andrea can have someone to actually like do things with. Maybe when they grow up, you know, go get their nails done together. <laughs> but, um. Or if we have a son, they'll be hitting the skate park together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But, you know, I don't really care what it is, but I really do hope for a girl. But if it's a boy, we'll still be happy to have a boy. But next time when we go back to the appointment when she's 20 weeks, we're not going to want to know the gender there and then. We're going to want the doctors to put it in an envelope for us. And then someone that we're close to, probably most likely Vanessa's family, cousin or sister, I don't know who, have them give it to us in a special way. Yeah, um, like we don't know yet if we want to do like a gender reveal, a big gender reveal, as in like my whole family or just 
just like um, me, George, and like the baby. Just because we are still trying to get back on our feet. Yeah, and like I don't really feel up to like doing big events. Like for this pregnancy, I don't even really, well, I don't even want a baby shower. And I'm not going to have a baby shower for this pregnancy. So like for a gender reveal, I feel like I don't really want to go all out either. For sure, that's something me and George have to talk about and agree on whether we want to just me, him, and Zandrea and just do something here and maybe film it for you guys. Or if we'll maybe plan a little something small and have my close family and like George's mom and his sister. But for sure, seeing the baby really hit me. And after my appointment, I actually ended up going to go get blood work. And oh my God, did the needle hurt so bad. And like it just brought back memories about me having to get like that IV. And it was just bringing back all these flashbacks that like I don't want to go through it again. But you know, it is what it is. I'm already pregnant. There's no going back. And another thing that I wanted to say about this ultrasound. Obviously, you guys are going to get to see Sanjay the ultrasound because we weren't even doing YouTube yet. Yeah. I wish that even though we weren't doing YouTube, we could have still thought about like wanting to yeah, film, film for it. memory. Exactly. Just for, because, for like, us and for her. Yeah, just because like I'm kind of disappointed that for Zandrea, she won't be able to get to see like the little ultrasound and all that. And like this baby will actually get to see a little bit of like me getting filmed when my belly gets bigger. Right. And just like any videos that we might do that are pregnancy related, like they'll be able to look back and see that. And like obviously my goal and George's goal is to hopefully like not blow up, but get some kind of recognition or get like a good amount of followers. But if we don't, like our videos are always gonna be up there for our kids to see. Hey, 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 are you hitting the TV with the fork? Are you hitting the TV with the fork? You are? <laughs> You're admitting it. You're. That me. Do you know that there's consequences when you do things like that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you said thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that like you said You guys, she just said thank you. Here's your baby. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Woo! Uh-oh. <laughs> Peace.